Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is how do we get these useful products out of coal? How do we obtain them from coal? So for that purpose we have this process called destructive distillation of coal. Now this is a type of distillation where the coal is completely destructed to give all these useful products like coal tar, coal gas, coke and we will see now how exactly this process happens. Now what, what do we basically do here? We just heat the coal to a temperature of almost more than 1000 degrees Celsius and that too in absence of air. So without air, without oxygen, we heat the coal to a very high temperature of 1000 degree Celsius. Now what happens when we start heating coal to such a high temperature in absence of air? So let's see exactly what's going to happen then. So we will look at the entire arrangement, the entire apparatus, how we will set it up so that we can uh, get the various products out of coal. So for this purpose, we would need a horizontal glass tube. As you can see here, this is the horizontal glass tube. We would need another vertical glass tube. We would need some coal pieces. As you can see here, these are the coal pieces. So basically, we are going to heat these pieces of coal. We also need a vertical tube. So here you can see the vertical tube. Now, they, the two tubes are arranged in such a way that they are connected to each other. So you see this, this glass pipe connects the horizontal tube with the vertical tube. We take some water in the vertical tube. As you can see, some water is present in the vertical tube. And we need a burner to heat the coal. So here you have the burner. So that's all we need to carry, to carry out uh, destructive distillation of coal. Now what is going to happen when we heat this coal? So let's see. Now what we observe is as we heat the coal, some colorless vapors are formed and these colorless vapors move through these tube and reach the vertical tube. And these colorless vapors condense to form a black viscous layer at the bottom of the vertical tube. And this layer is called coal tar. So if you see it is a dark viscous layer. So coal tar is a dark almost black in color it is a viscous liquid so it, it seems to be very thick in nature so basically how it you can actually see it for yourself that over a period of time from here you can see some vapors those vapors travel down the vertical tube and then in the vertical tube after some time they form this dark viscous layer at the bottom and this is called coal tar so that's how coal tar is formed now when you observe little more closely, you will see that there are some other vapors which form a colorless layer. So as you can see here, the color is lit, I mean it doesn't have any specific color, this layer. So this colorless layer which is present just above the coal tar, so that is called the liquid ammonia because it has been found that this layer contains a lot of dissolved ammonia. So this layer is the liquid ammonia. So that's how we get liquid ammonia from coal. Now, yet again, what do we see? That there are, there are certain vapors which do not react in any way. They do not get condensed. They do not form any layer in the vertical tube. But what do they do? They just go out of this vertical tube. So we can actually see some vapors coming out of this tube. So these vapors are nothing but coal gas. So that's how again we got another product out of coal. And finally, what do we see? That when all the coal is already heated and all these vapors have been formed, so whatever residue is left over in the horizontal tube, that is coke. So the coke which is left out here is, you can see it is almost the purest form of carbon because it contains more than 60% of carbon in it. So that's how we derived four different components from coal. Now why is it called destructive distillation? Because we have destructed the coal. The coal is no more there. 
but instead of coal we have so many different useful products coke coal gas liquid ammonia coal tar so we got four different products from coal now you might say that i have been telling since that time that these are useful products useful products so how are they useful in what way can we use them so we will discuss about uses of each of these components which we get as a result of destructive distillation of coal but before that, let us have a quick review of the various components which we received here. So coal tar, which was coal tar? It was the black viscous layer at the bottom. So this layer was coal tar. Liquid ammonia was the colorless layer above coal tar. So this grayish layer, which is not actually gray, it is actually colorless. There is no color for this layer. So that is liquid ammonia. The unreacted vapor which released which gets released out that is nothing but the coal gas and finally the porous black residue left in the horizontal tube that is coke so this is coke so these were the four different components or the four different products received as a result of destructive distillation so let's talk about coal tar so as I said, it is a black viscous liquid. So you, if you actually pu put it in a uh, vessel, you can actually feel how viscous and how thick it is. And it is completely black in color. It has an unpleasant smell. So the smell is so bad that you can actually feel its presence nearby. However, it can be useful in manufacturing a lot of products like perfumes, plastics, paints, medicines, naphthalene balls. So these are some of the things where I mean, during manufacturing these things, coal tar turns out to be a useful thing. So it helps in producing so many different substances. So that means it is a useful thing. Next is liquid ammonia. So liquid ammonia is that colorless layer where we find a lot of dissolved ammonia. It acts as an excellent fertilizer for better plant growth. Now, I, I hope all of you know what is a fertilizer. So these are nothing but uh, substances which when added to the soil increases or enhances the productivity of the plants. Because for better growth and development, what do plants need? They need several uh, nutrients they need several minerals so they need a lot of things which can help in their growth and all these things are present in the fertilizers now ammonia what is ammonia ammonia is nh3 so ammonia contains nitrogen and nitrogen is an excellent thing for plant growth so nitrogen is a macronutrient a nutrient which is needed in large quantities by plants so that means liquid ammonia acts as an excellent fertilizer and that thus it can help in uh, the in agricultural aspects so here in this picture you can actually see that in a corn field nitrogen fertilizer is being applied using this tractor next is coal gas Coal gas, it is a mixture of several gases like methane, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen and small amounts of many other gases. So like a lot of gases together form the coal gas. It, this coal gas is mostly used as a source of heat rather than source of light because the coal gas can be used as a source of light also. In earlier days, it used to be used as a source of light. But these days, it is mostly used as a source of heat. It is a flammable gaseous fuel and it can be supplied to the user via pipeline. So pipeline distribution system with the help of pipes, it can be transported from one place to another. Now, before this natural gas supplies came up, coal gas was also used as a fuel and it was term called a lightning gas because you see because it could be could have been used as a source of light that was one advantage the second advantage was that it could be transported very easily with the help of pipelines so that was coal gas so it is still now it is used as a fuel an excellent fuel in industries and the last one is coke so coke is the porous black substance which is left out when which is left as a residue after all the coal is burnt. So it is almost a pure form of carbon because it contains almost 60% carbon which is a very big percentage. 
it is used in the manufacturing of steel because during the process of steel manufacturing it is used as a reducing agent now there are in fact you would be surprised to know that there are certain advantages which are associated with coke when compared to coal like coal is used for what kind of purposes like you burn coal and you generate a lot of energy so that that's how we make use of coal now if you use coke instead of coal you would see that the advantages with coke are more why that's because in case of coke when you use coke as a fuel the smoke producing constituents are driven off during coke formation so when coke is formed from coal during that time whatever components produce a lot of smoke and cause air pollution all those components are removed so therefore coke is basically more clean when compared to coal so when you burn coke so the air pollution is less so that means coke is a cleaner fuel when compared to coal so coke is also a desirable fuel for stoves and furnaces so it is also used as substitute of coal in domestic heating purposes now i hope you understood why it is used as a substitute because it is a cleaner fuel when compared to coal and it is also a more efficient fuel when compared to coal so these are the various useful products which are obtained from coal now not only this coke can also be used to produce a lot of different gases for example when hot steam is passed over coke so coke what is coke chemically coke is like carbon it is as i said it contains more than 50% of it is made up of carbon so when hot steam is passed over it then the water vapor the hot water vapor reacts with the carbon to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen so this mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen forms water gas so basically we can say that this water gas in turn helps in preparing coal gas so that's how we can say that coke acts as the starting material for preparing coal gas and water gas so that means also uh, we can say that this, that is also another advantage of having coke thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.